Hi everybody, this is Rita with Bloom Stitch, and I hope you're having a uh, good day, a good Monday. Um, I am really excited to share something new with you that I have not made before. And uh, what these are, are little sets. Uh, cone or a Tussie Mussy. I just love, I love that name, Tussie Mussy. Uh, that looks like this. And a lace snippet. So these are sets. I have three here that I will share with you. And uh, so let's start with the first one. So this is the cone or the Tussie Mussy. What this is, it has a handle that you can hang up as a decoration on a dresser drawer, doorknob, or anywhere you want. Or you can just set it up. You can even lay it down. You can set it up however you want as part of your shabby chic de decor. This can also be given as a gift. If you want, I kind of glued these flowers in here, but you could remove them if you wanted to and put something in here as a little gift. So this is what this one looks like, and I'm really excited about it. And then I have a lace snippet that comes like this in this tool. And then I have this tied together with the ribbon and let's roll it out. It's 12 inches long. Each of them are 12 inches long. They have been glued on one end to this wooden dowel that my husband was kind enough to cut into the right size for me. But this is what it looks like. It's got beaded appliques. Um, this has been coffee dyed and then chiffon flower so this one has a slightly lilac light purple tint to it and then we have a beaded applique 3d applique right here so this one is your um little lace snippet roll so this is like i said 12 inches long and then it rolls back up and these do stand up um so you can, you can just display them as it is. I'll have them tied with this ribbon. You can display them as it is, as part of your decoration. Or you can use them in your journal, or even maybe as a bookmark. You can cut these apart. So that's the first set. And the second set has a more um, grungy kind of tint to it. I'll show you the lace snippet first rolls out like this so this is the snippet this has been these have been coffee dyed the back is a fabric piece of fabric then there's a layer of lace and then the appliques so this is like a 3d applique here then your chiffon flower and then this is from a vintage wedding dress that I coffee dyed just beautiful with these bead beads on there and again this just rolls up and you can use it as is on a shelf or a dresser nightstand just display it as is or you can use it as part of your uh, journaling and then here is your Tussie Mussie that you can hang up again you can remove these flowers there's a little lace snippet here the base of this is vintage wallpaper, a couple layers of that, and then I have a coffee dyed lace up here, and then this beaded, beautiful beaded applique runs down along the front. And then we have this lace doily and your flowers. And I have uh, in here shredded um, these. They are shredded um, uh, dress you know, those, uh, whatever they are called, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I can't, I can't think of the word. Dress, uh, the uh, patterns, patterns, yeah, sorry about that. Oh my goodness. And then it, the, it, you know, it has a handle so you can hang it up. So this is this set, the second set. And then the third set is, an, again, another shabby, just like the first one was a shabby. And this is a little bit different. I'll show you the snippet first. 
the Tussie Mussie is a little bit different, I'll tell you in a minute. So this one, there's a little rosette on the top of each of the dowels. I tried to look for spools. I couldn't find, I have some vintage spools, wooden spools, but they were not the right size. They were too short. So I, I needed something larger, uh, longer. So this is the, uh, I think it's just beautiful. I don't know if it really picks up on the camera here. There's a pretty wedding applique here and then a 3D flower and then a really pretty beaded uh, flower there. So that's your uh, lace snippet roll. And then here's your Tussie Mussie. This one is actually heavy cardstock and the entire uh, cone is covered in lace. And then I have this cute little ruffle running across front and back. And then I have some trim and a 3D, beautiful 3D flower here. And then I have a picture in here. So the reason that why this is different is because I left it kind of open. I put some shredded uh, paper in here, but it is for you to fill in whatever you want to put in here, whether it's candy, jewelry, whatever you want to display in it, um, you can do so. You can remove this tag, you can use it, you can give this as a gift, fill it with whatever you want to give, and uh, or just put your own creations in here, your own flowers or your own favorite item in there and display it as such. Hang it up on your dresser drawer or something like that. So I'll let you be the uh, creative one with this. And uh, I think I'm gonna have more listed that will have this option where you can fill in with whatever you want. I will include a tag with a, a vintage uh, girl or lady on there but I will just put the filling in here, the paper filling, and then you can just fill it up with whatever you want. So these are the three sets I have right now. And I will make more if there's interest in it. And I think these are only going to run $20 for the whole set plus shipping. So these were a lot of work to make the uh, Tassi Mussies. So anyways, I think they turned out really good. And uh, I'm just, I'm really proud of them. Now these will be shipped in, in a box because I want to preserve the shape of these cones. I mean, they will not be in an envelope because I don't want them flattened. So they will come in a box, bubble wrapped and everything so that they keep their shape. So that's what I have for today. Really excited. You guys have a good rest of the week and peace out.